Seniors, stop taking these two vitamins. They weaken your legs after 60. Spread the word. You take vitamins because you want to stay healthy. That makes sense, doesn't it? But have you ever considered that some of these might be slowly weakening your legs, especially after the age of 60, when muscles naturally become more vulnerable? Thousands of people are unaware that these vitamins are undermining their muscles from within. And with each passing day, your legs become weaker, even though you seem to be doing everything right. You try to stay healthy by going for walks, doing stretches, and maybe even taking joint supplements. But when you climb the stairs, you still feel the strain. Your legs feel foreign, almost like they're not yours. And fatigue sets in too quickly, faster than it used to. And you start thinking, it's probably just my age. But in reality, it's not. It turns out that there are two popular vitamins that are often prescribed as a precautionary measure for prevention. However, these very vitamins can trigger inflammation, damage nerves, and gradually weaken the muscles in the legs. And it's all because almost no one explains where the benefits end and the hidden risks begin. In this video, you will discover which two popular vitamins you should reconsider immediately, especially if you care about the health of your legs. Let's explore how they affect your muscles, why they can cause weakness, and most importantly, how to safely obtain the necessary nutrients, even without pills. By the end of this video, you'll feel stronger in your legs, more confident, and your muscles will thank you. So, let's start with the first vitamin, which has long been regarded as completely harmless. Vitamin C is a symbol of health. Oranges, supplements, effervescent tablets, it seems like you can never have too much of them. Many people think, the more, the better. Especially when it comes to protecting against colds, boosting the immune system, or recovering after physical exertion. However, once the doses get too high, vitamin C starts to behave differently than you might expect. Instead of protecting the cells, it triggers the production of oxalates, substances that can accumulate in tissues and interfere with normal muscle function. This has a particularly noticeable effect on the legs, where older adults often already experience poor circulation. But that's not all. An excess of vitamin C can disrupt the balance of collagen, the connective tissue that keeps muscles toned. When this balance is disrupted, muscles become sluggish, struggle to adapt to stress, and are more prone to micro-inflammations and feelings of internal soreness. Research confirms that with a continuous intake of over 1,000 bigangalers per day, muscle adaptation decreases and inflammatory processes may intensify. Many people believe that you can't get too much vitamin C since the body will just get rid of any excess. But that's a myth. The body can't eliminate excess without consequences, especially if the overload happens every day. Here's what starts to happen to your legs if such doses become a habit. When you regularly consume more than 1,000 vegan dollars of vitamin C per day, it can turn into a pro-oxidant. This means that instead of providing protection, it starts to stimulate the production of free radicals, aggressive molecules that damage tissues. This process is particularly pronounced when there is an excess of iron in the body. Free radicals target the most vulnerable areas, muscles and blood vessels, and the legs suffer first. Poor circulation. Plus inflammation. Constant discomfort. What does this mean in practice? There is an increase in hidden inflammation in the leg muscles, Recovery after walking and even light physical activity is slowing down. There is a feeling of heaviness, burning, or dull, aching pain, especially in the calves. Joints and tendons start to give out earlier because collagen breaks down faster. So you try to stay active and go for walks, 
but instead of feeling light on your feet, you notice your legs refusing to cooperate. The reason might not be the load itself, but rather the vitamin you're taking for prevention. One study published in the journal Free Radical Biology and Medicine found that excess vitamin C is not only ineffective, but actually reduces the production of natural antioxidants in muscles, hindering their proper recovery after exercise. Now imagine this. You're not running marathons or hitting the gym, but your legs feel tired as if you've walked 15 kilometers. It might not be age, and it's not just the common saying, everything hurts as you get older. Instead, it could be your muscles reacting to microinflammations caused by excessive vitamin C intake. And the most common question is, but I'm just taking one effervescent tablet in the morning. Is that really too much? Yes, a lot. Most popular effervescent tablets contain 1,000 migamarm, and some even have 1,500 megamoleculars in a single dose. Add citrus fruits, berries, broccoli, and bell peppers, and you'll end up with significantly more than you actually need. Now, a logical question arises. How to safely and effectively get vitamin C without harming your leg muscles? The good news is that you don't have to completely give up on vitamin C. The issue isn't about eliminating it entirely, but rather about stopping the excessive consumption and switching to gentler, natural sources. The safest and most effective way to get vitamin C is from whole foods. It is absorbed slowly and evenly, without sudden spikes, and does not cause oxidative stress like high-dose supplements often do. There are foods that are not only rich in vitamin C, but also help strengthen blood vessels, reduce inflammation, and protect muscles thanks to natural flavonoids. Here are the real champions. Kiwis contain even more vitamin C than oranges and are great for boosting the immune system. Red bell pepper is an antioxidant superhero, particularly beneficial for chronic inflammation. Rosehip, in the form of an infusion or decoction, is a natural concentrate of vitamin C. Broccoli and Brussels sprouts are smart choices that provide gentle and safe digestion. Parsley, Dill and green onions are simple herbs that can be added to any meal for a big boost in health benefits. No overdoses, no microinflammations, just support, recovery, and real nutrition for your muscles and blood vessels. It's important to note that these products contain not only vitamin C, but also flavonoids, which are compounds that enhance the effects of vitamin C and protect tissues from damage. Many people think it's easier to just take a pill. Natural sources are what truly protect your muscles and prevent any buildup or inflammation. This means your legs will become stronger, pain will subside, and movement will become easier. But there's another vitamin trap that many people fall into, suffering for years. People often take B vitamins automatically without thinking, for the nerves, for energy, for metabolism, especially vitamin B6, as it plays a crucial role in nearly all neural signals and recovery processes. But what if he is one of the hidden culprits behind the tingling, numbness, and unexplained weakness in the legs? When the dosage exceeds 50 mitochondrias per day, vitamin B6 starts to act not as a helper, but as a destroyer. In large quantities, it becomes neurotoxic, primarily affecting the peripheral nerves, especially in the legs and feet. You may start to notice unusual sensations, burning, tingling, or a feeling like pins and needles on your skin, numbness in the toes, loss of precision in movements, impaired coordination, and muscle weakness that cannot be attributed to either physical activity or age. Studies have shown that elderly patients taking 100 to 200 megalurins of vitamin B6 daily for several months may develop peripheral neuropathy, which is nerve damage in the lower extremities. 
and the most dangerous part is that many don't even realize how much they're consuming. They simply take nerve vitamins or B-complex supplements without paying attention to the dosage. It's the cumulative effect that makes B6 so deceptive. Many believe that any excess vitamin will simply leave the body, but that's not the case. Vitamin B6 accumulates in the tissues and is eliminated very slowly, especially as we age. And this is where things get really dangerous. What exactly makes excess B6 even more harmful after the age of 60? As we age, our bodies undergo changes, which is something everyone understands. However, few people realize that, along with changes in appearance and stamina, our bodies also process and absorb vitamins differently as we grow older, especially in large doses. Vitamin B6 is one of those nutrients whose metabolism is noticeably disrupted after the age of 60. The body no longer handles it as easily as it used to. After the age of 60, the liver and kidneys function more slowly, which changes the entire picture. Instead of quickly utilizing or excreting vitamin B6, the body keeps it in the bloodstream for a longer period, it fails to break it down properly, and starts accumulating it in the tissues, including in the nerve fibers. An elderly person is deficient in vitamin B12, folic acid, and other B vitamins. The system loses its balance, leading to overload, which results in neurological failures. Scientific reviews confirm that even moderate doses of B6 can become toxic in individuals with reduced kidney function. This doesn't mean that vitamin B6 is an enemy. However, after a certain age, it's important to understand that even beneficial things can be harmful if you don't take into account how your body functions today. As a result, a vitamin that is supposed to support the nervous system can end up damaging it instead. This especially affects the legs, where the nerves are long, vulnerable, and are the first to suffer from disruptions. So how can we replenish B6 without risking the health of our legs? It's important to listen carefully here. Vitamin B6 plays a crucial role. Without it, metabolism can be disrupted, serotonin levels may drop, and energy can decrease. This is not a vitamin you can skip. However, it's important not just to take it, but to do so correctly. In the right form, at the right dose, and in the proper combination with other nutrients. The optimal and safe dose for an elderly person is just 1.52 mg per day, and you can easily obtain it from regular food, without the need for pills, and without any risk to the nervous system. Here are products that gently and safely provide you with vitamin B6. Chicken breast, a source of easily digestible protein, and B6, Baked potatoes are an affordable and healthy way to support your well-being. Bananas soothe and nourish the nervous system. Oatmeal and buckwheat are perfect for breakfast, especially as you get older. Salmon and tuna provide support for energy, blood vessels, and recovery. What's especially important about these products is that B6 is combined with other B vitamins. It works in harmony preventing overloading the body and avoiding hidden side effects. You support your nerves, muscles, and energy without risks, toxic buildup, or surprises months down the line. This knowledge can free you from numbness, pain, instability, and weakness in your legs. If you want to maintain strong legs and avoid weakness, instability, and pain, remember these two vitamins. Vitamin C, when taken in excess, can trigger inflammation, hinder muscle recovery, and break down collagen. The solution is simple. Get your vitamin C from natural sources like kiwi, bell peppers, broccoli, and leafy greens. No pills needed. No overdose. Vitamin B6 in megadoses can become harmful to the nervous system. It damages the nerves, causing tingling, numbness, a sensation of pins and needles, and muscle weakness in the legs. What should you do? 
Get B6 from food like chicken, bananas, and potatoes. Start with simple steps today. Check the ingredients of your supplements and remove any that contain more than 10 milligrollers of B6 and more than 500 milligrollers of C. Incorporate at least a couple of natural sources of these vitamins into your diet, and your body will thank you in just a few weeks. Remember, the health of your legs is your foundation, stability, and even freedom. And often it's not about expensive pills, but rather about simply knowing what your body truly needs and in what form. Share in the comments. What vitamins do you take? Do you feel heaviness or weakness in your legs? Please like if you found this information helpful. Subscribe to the channel. There are plenty of practical videos coming your way. And don't forget, small steps every day build strong legs for years to come.